Is it over? Oh my gosh, there it is. Hey guys, how are you going? It's Under My Cap and welcome back to another video where today I'm going to be teaching you how to use all of the Maker Pen tools. Now this is part two and in this part we are going to be covering all of the select features. Uh, but without further ado, let's get straight into the video. There we are. I'll just pick that up. And hey, welcome back to the tutorial world. So today we're going to get straight into the select tool. So we want to pull out our maker pen. So I'm going to pull mine out of the back. If you haven't watched the first part of this series, definitely make sure to check it out in the description below and in the info card because it is very important. But without further ado, let's get straight into using the select tool. So let's pull up the maker pen menu. I'm going to detach it right here and I'm just going to put it out here to show you what it looks like. Okay, so as you can see, this is the Maker Pen menu. The Select button is right next to the Create button. So we're gonna click that and that's gonna start the tutorial. And when you actually click the Select button, you'll see a whole bunch of options that pop up on this side over here. Now the Select tool is really good if you want to copy and paste items, if you want to group items, if you also want to uh, move a certain amount of items, just in general, you can select multiple items instead of one singular item. So we've selected the select button. Let's just exit the maker pen for now. I'm going to just exit that. When we actually grab the select tool, you can see we can actually select multiple items like this and they start to group all together. So you can see there's one massive highlight around the section that we've selected and uh, we can actually deselect as well. Now, a really cool thing with the select tool as well is if you hold down your trigger gun, if you're in VR, you can actually pull up this like little yellow globe thing and you can select everything in that area. If you do the same thing again, once you have a selected area, you can see it's slightly red. It's really hard to show you on this, uh, but it's slightly red. So now I'm deselecting everything. So this is good if you just want to get rid of a few things from your selection. Uh, for now, let's just select all the plates and I'm going to deselect the table. So you can see all of these items are selected. Now, as you notice, once we actually select all the items, there is a little button that pops up that says options. So let's click on that. One thing in this menu is that you can actually make an invention to display on your profile. That will be another video, uh, but that is one way you can also use the select tool. Okay, so going back to this menu, once we've actually selected the items we want, we can do a couple of things with them. You can see in the select tool functions, we can actually copy all the items and paste them in a different area. So let's go ahead and do that right now. We're gonna hit copy. Uh, you'll notice a few other things pop up. We have the clipboard and we have paste recent. So basically you can uh, see what's in your clipboard. You can see this is what we've recently copied over here. Um, but let's just head back out of that. Um, and to get out of that, we're just going to click on the tools button at the very bottom and we're back over here. Now we can also paste recent as well. So this is where we can literally just paste everything that we've selected again. So if we click paste recent, you'll notice that my maker pen now has all of the plates that we copied from before. So if we close this menu, I can now place a whole bunch of plates everywhere because we just copied them from the tool. This video is gonna get very hectic very fast with all of this stuff. Oh my gosh. Now we've also got a few more features of the select tool as well. So let's go through that. So before when I was showing you how you can actually hold the trigger down to select items all at once with that like yellow ball and the red ball, you can actually change the size of that selection size if you're doing like fine work or if you're doing a lot more detailed work. So if you actually click on this little button here, you have a whole bunch of these options. So precise obviously is very small. We have small, makes sense, goes all the way up to large and analog. Um, I don't know what that is, but we're going to just see what it is right now because I wanna actually learn what this is. Um, okay, analog is just a very big, very big yellow ball. Uh, <laughs> very, very big. So analog is probably the largest one you go to. Uh, let's place this back into the world again. Um, and then these settings over here, they don't, they're just, they're just the general settings over there. Uh, but that is the main functions of the select tool for this. Now let's say I create a few shapes. Pull out the maker pen, I'm going to just make a whole bunch of squares. You can see that it's very random. So they're all currently in one container right now, all of these squares right here. And what we can actually do with the select tool is if we select certain amounts of those items, so you can see I've only selected two squares, you can individually move them with the move tool, which we'll cover in a different video. So you can select multiple items. Now with the select tool as well, 
when we click on these items here, I don't know if you can see that pop up, there's a tiny purple options button that appears and you can click on that and you do have a few other options. So split shapes will basically split the shapes out of the container. So if we click split shapes there, you can see that a few items, um, I'm not sure if the camera will pick it up, but these items here, so this, this square here, is actually not in the same container as these other squares. So you can actually split the containers open. We'll talk about containers in a different video, um, but they're in two separate containers right now because we split them. If we go back to the options item here as well, we can center on pivot. So the pivot is essential to know where we need to rotate an item. So uh, if it's not centered, you can recenter it by using the select tool. If you did enjoy the video, don't forget to leave a like and smash that bell, or smash the subscribe, then smash the bell icon. <coughs> I'll use that sometime. Also, you can check me out in game. My name is Under My Cap. Um, I would love to teach all of this stuff and I'm really happy with the positive feedback we had on the first video, so I'm going to look to continue this series, but I hope you have an awesome day, and I'll see you in the next video. See ya!